There is more to being a spotter than it seems. Spotters play an essential role in safety and work close with the operator to ensure the movement of equipment is done safely. They must be aware of their specific roles and responsibility as a spotter, assessing risks, familiarity with the type of equipment they are spotting, including how they move and the operator's visibility when operating, and most importantly, communication. The spotter is the vital link between the operator and the area around the crane, and as such needs to have a clear, unobstructed view of the operator, crane, and area at all times. Spotters must be clearly and uniquely identified with a high-vis vest or an arm gauntlet. Being a spotter is being focused and not being distracted with any other activity. They must have a clear, unobstructed view of the equipment and operator at all times. The operator and the spotter work as a team when assessing risk and completing the equipment movement hazard assessment. They must walk the route, identifying hazards and mitigating any possible risks involved. This includes not just the roadways, but everything overhead as well. Cranes do not move the same as other equipment. They have limited visibility and large blind spots that must be considered. The booms also create additional risks as not only do they restrict visibility, but they stick out past the frame of the equipment. Also, the load blocks can swing wildly if not controlled or tied back. Most cranes have different steering modes, ranging from front wheel, rear wheel, and four wheel steering. They can even move diagonally using crab mode, where all four wheels turn in the same direction. Communication is the single most important aspect of being a spotter. They and the operator must work as a team and be on the same page, knowing every aspect of the move. If any deviation of their plan arises, both must stop and reassess the plan and associated risks. Spotters must be familiar with the hand signals used to direct the crane, as well as how to properly signal using the radio. If, for any reason, the operator stops getting a clear and consistent signal, he or she will immediately stop until communication is restored. Always remember that, for any reason, you have the authority to stop any work you feel is unsafe. Your stop work authority is the single greatest tool you have to ensure nothing happens until you feel it is safe to proceed. Sterling crane operators are the safest and best trained in the industry, and safety is always our primary goal.